welcome to neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. He'll take it from the two. Gets to about the 24-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. Not a great throw by the quarterback, but to be fair, that was pretty good coverage. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. Stop. The quarterback hit his man on an out route, and the defender was in man coverage. As a defender in man coverage, you cannot get beat deep, and as a result, the underneath routes are going to be there. As you can see, it worked out great for the offense as they were looking for a new set of downs. The offensive coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executed. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. Knocked out of bounds at about the 23-yard line. That brings in second and nine. Makes it out to about the 13. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. He's got a touchdown. This team has so many potent weapons. It's tough to try to single out just one of them to stop. And he converts the extra point. An eight-play, 76-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. So the score now, 7-0. Southern Miss is ready to kick it away. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So the Aggies right now, Kirk, I think they've just got to play within themselves. Sometimes you get at home and you get just a little bit too fired up at the beginning of a game. I agree with you. I think sometimes there's a tendency for certain teams to press a little bit because they're trying so hard to keep this home crowd in the game and they've been waiting all week and they're so excited. Sometimes you force a play. Just let the play naturally come to you and react to it. So we'll see if this team playing at home Jumps the gun a little bit, or they just let the game come to them. They come out in a five-wide set. Quick throw out to the receiver. And they finally push him out at the 41-yard line. In the shotgun and five wide out. Stop, 
around the 27 yard line. Five wide. Scrambling around. Right down. Right around the 18-yard line. From the 18-yard line. First down. And he's level at the 8-yard line. He can beat you with his feet as well as his arm. And what a dangerous weapon this guy is. The extra point to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Fielded at the four. Brought down at the 32-yard line. Every drive is important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Fires incomplete. That was textbook coverage by the defense. That's exactly what you want to do on every single pass play. But it doesn't always happen. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 32. And a quick throw. And down he goes at the 44-yard line. Strike to his receiver, no good. From their own 44-yard line, it's second down. He's into the open field. He's tackled at the 47. Yard line. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. And he makes it on to about the 24-yard line. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. From the 24-yard line, second down. Falls to the ground. And this play is number eight on the drive. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And he's taken down around the 11 yard line. Makes 
first and goal. Touchdown, Golden Eagles. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. The Golden Eagles running game really took a big hit. Their key back went out earlier with the injury. Doesn't look like he's going to be able to come back today. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out on the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. And he is drilled at the 36. of one quarter, Southern Miss leads 14-7. Right, Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Here we go. Makes it to the 27. sometimes but that's probably a pick he should have made so it's second and ten ball on the 27 pulls down the catch and he's got room here continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. You know, if a quarterback has a strong arm, one of his favorite routes is the post. But I thought the quarterback did a really good job here of using his eyes to move the safety, to open up that void in the defense, and then he made the good throw to the receiver for the touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Texas A&M lines up for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer. And that's exactly what we just saw. 
One team scores a touchdown, the other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Steps out of bounds at the 28. He's in space. He's out of bounds at the 29. been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. And he throws it away. Second and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. to about the 47 yard line. third down and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker they come out on an empty backfield he fights forward to about the 10 hopefully he's going to be okay number six comes into quarterback They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. He steps out around the 10-yard line. I can't believe they actually got the first. This coach isn't afraid to take some risks. They'll spread the field with five wide. Now he tries to buy some time. Just outside the goal line. Texas A&M is going to use their first time out of the half here. And there's two minutes remaining in the half. Touchdown, Aggies! And he adds the extra point. 
An 11 play 56 yard drive and a touchdown as a result. Fred I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. And he makes it on to about the 24-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. So the Aggies lose one of their key players for that injury earlier. Still in the locker room. We don't know the severity, but unlikely that he'll play any more football this afternoon. And he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Texas a and going to have to use their second timeout of the half. It's third down, eight to go. Ball on their own 25. Down of bounds, right around the 40. Zips it to the back. He's brought down in the open field. And a pickup of about seven. Hey, we picked up a nice gain of seven yards on that play. Great pass. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Caught with room to work. And he's tackled right away. That makes it first and ten. Quick throw to the back, it's incomplete. Number three was his intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. And he throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Here's the eighth play of the series. Slings it out there incomplete. The punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. The punt goes out of bounds of the four yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Texas A&M up seven points. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped out on him. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. He's to the 20. Gains his way to the 23-yard line. What's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. 
He's on the run, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Quick throw out to the receiver. To the 20. Brought down at the 11. Texas a and is up by a touchdown. He's going to try and scramble. And he's going to come up with a sack. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. We're at play number nine of this current drive. It's up, and they tack on three points. They might just want to squib this one. Only a few seconds left here before halftime. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So we're just about ready to return to action. Runs outside for a nice game. So at the end of the half, Texas A&M leads it 24-14. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that is more important than turnovers. Now, so far, neither defense has been able to force one in this game, but you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look at turnovers and they assume that it's luck a lot of times, but a lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know that when certain teams line up like South Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson, Oakland, Stud, and they got three receivers to my side, and I know it's a rollout pass. As a defensive end, I widened my stance a little bit, came up field, hit the quarterback as he was throwing it. Next thing you know, the ref signals his hands up in the air, and you get six points for it. So you can definitely be prepared, and that's how you force those turnovers. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some astroturf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Texas A&M's game plan couldn't have imagined things to go this well. They've scored 24 points in a row. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. And he's taken down at the 22-yard line. Nothing doing that time. Defender stayed home. The blocking wasn't there. And down he went. From their own 22-yard line. Second down. He's out to the 30. Quick strike to the receiver. And down he goes. Around the 36-yard line. his way to about the 48.
gets his way out to about the 25. Number eight on the drive. Now he's scrambling. Decides to slide.16-yard line. Looks like the defense was in man coverage there, fellas, and that's why they stopped that screen. Yeah, and when the secondary isn't dropping back into zone, it makes it difficult to have success with that kind of screen play. He gets it up, and he got it. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. his own goal line. He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 22. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He lets it go. Incomplete pass. Too bad that'll go down as an incompletion because he made a really great play on the ball to make the catch. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 22-yard line. Here we go. There's a strike complete. They'll bring him down right around the 30. Backs got it on the quick throw, and he shoved out of bounds at about the 33-yard line. He's tackled around the 46-yard line. his way to the 46-yard line. That's a game of the number. That makes it second and two. Big opening. And they finally bring him down at the 20-yard line. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. Tackles him hard at the 14. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Quick 
strike to the receiver. Touchdown. That's a positive for the passing game. It was absolutely the right call in that situation. And he hits the PAT. So a 10-play, 79-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. The score now, 27-21. Southern Miss, to kick this one off. The Golden Eagles wide receiver down there on the sideline. Looks like he's warming up. Good to see that he might be able to get back in this game. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Golden Eagles have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team has put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. Texas A&M with a six-point lead. Nice run, and he's brought down. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. Scrambling around, and they get the sack. A defensive end with this kind of speed is an offensive worst nightmare. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of it. Whether you're going to roll away from him or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, you're constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. Slings it. Tackle made at the 48-yard line. Gets to about the 27-yard line. So their last drive resulted in six points. Do you think we'll see the same result on this one? They ran the ball extremely well on their last drive. And until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. Tackle at the 46. It's been an offensive explosion through three quarters of play. We head to the fourth quarter. The Aggies lead 27-21. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. And that one's incomplete. Third and five situation. Ball on the 46. Big stop there early in the fourth quarter. And the way this game has been played and how tight it's been, every defensive stop will be huge. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. A conversion there could have really helped them, but it just wasn't to be. Early in the fourth quarter in a very, very tight football game, and the game could hinge on this possession. Texas AM up six. And 
he hits him hard at the 49. trying to do a little too much by himself. Hey, maybe next time he'll get it out to the back so he can do something with it. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. And this one is a beauty. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. And the defense made a big stop on fourth down the last time this offense was out there. And this offense comes out on the field again after being stopped on downs the last time out. And not only does that affect them in a negative way, but you know what it does is it gives this defense that they're facing a ton of confidence and a lot of momentum as they come back out on the field. Offense. That penalty will move him back a bit. Yeah, with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. First and long now after the penalty. Here we go. Quick pass. He's taken down at the 14-yard line. Gain of four on the play. That'll make it second and long. Brought down for a loss. Two-yard loss for the halfback. If there was ever a time that this offense could use a miracle, it would be right now. It's third down, and they've got a long ways to go to get the first. They come out in a five-wide set. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Brought down right around the 24-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Less than three minutes in the game. Swings it out there incomplete. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 45. He's scrambling. And he's taken down at about the 39-yard line. He's at the 30. The freshman makes the catch. And down he goes around the 17-yard line. Try and scramble. The 10. What a play, and that is first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, Texas A. The offense is going to go for two. He scrambled. He's got the two. Everyone's 
all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the one. He's tackled at the 27. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. He's going to air it long. Doesn't get there. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. He lets it fly. And he's tackled at the 29-yard line. That makes it first and ten. He's got to throw it in a hurry. He gets sacked on the play. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out at practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. Third down, and they need to get it to the 19. So they're going to go for it here. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. Gets out to around the 12. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Got his receiver, touchdown. And that touchdown gets these guys right back in the game. We're looking at a one-score ball game now. Splits the uprights with the extra point. So that's an eight-play, 72-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow them down. At the corner. The onside doesn't bounce their way, but, you know, give these kids some credit. They fought hard all the way down to the wire. Wow, what a great football game. We've been very lucky to see such a hard-fought battle. It's out to about the 17-yard line. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. From the 17-yard line, first down. Run left side. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Southern Miss will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. It's the tailback. Touchdown, a and in.
They didn't snap the ball in time. Delayed Delay game, game offense. offense. We have less than a minute to go. He makes the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. Makes it to the 22-yard line. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. From their own 22-yard line. Second down. And a quick throw. And they make the stop right around the 22-yard line. Taken down immediately. Wow, you just gotta love it for this defense. They come up with the stop of the ball game and maybe the season. Big stop by the defense. Well, they had a lot of success on their last possession, and now they're gonna start this one off with excellent field position. It's hard to ask your defense to come out and make a stop when they're already backed up this far within their own end zone. The Golden Eagles, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, Texas A&M, 42, Southern Miss, 28. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.